All right, so here's a standard Smartsheet view. Remember, this is our um, content calendar. I'm not going to show how to set everything up, but just some key features. You'll see the due date field um, is showing up as red for these past due items, yellow because it's due tomorrow, um, and gray because it's blank. We also see that based on the client, we have different color rows. Now here's where we can go into the calendar view and we can see those items that are past due. Um, we also see the information, the client, what it is. We can't read the whole thing, but that's fine. If we hold our mouse over it, it shows us what that is. And we can easily drag and drop items to a new area. I kind of mentioned that. So remember, as we go into this view, XYZ company here shows up as due on 6-1. It's red, of course, because it's past due. I haven't sorted or done anything on this. And so I'm just going to take it and put it into this view again. We'll drag this item and we'll say, okay, it actually isn't due until Tuesday the 9th. Now once I drag it there, when I go back to the regular grid view, we can see the item is no longer red. It's not due in, you know, it's not past due. And this of course holds true for any other items. So once again, go into the calendar view. If I make this item due today, it shows up as um, yellow. And of course this doesn't show up on the calendar because we're keying on the due date. So if we want to add a due date, we just click on it. Add the due date on Sunday. And we'll save our sheet. Go into the calendar view. There it is due on Sunday. And this is where we set up our conditional formatting. So just so you know, we go into this option and this is where our various rules can be established. So that's how we're using Smartsheet. Hopefully you found that helpful. And if you have any questions about it, please do not hesitate to ask. Thanks.